Hello and welcome. This is Politic Revolutionar here to you today with Europa Universalis for the Cossacks. So welcome back to killing the Russians. I mean our Basilisk achievement run. Because we totally do this all for peace. Mexico wants some open borders. We are going to deny it to them, unfortunately, for them. Because we don't exactly love open borders. So, there's a 32 stack there. We will reinforce the Austrians in their efforts. Or maybe not. They finished the battle before we got there. How does this front look? Looks okay. We finally finished that fort. Now we can push forward onto Moscow. totally kill um yeah we could definitely kill Ryazan that would give us a lot of land and easy access to the Russians We're going to reinforce that siege, since Austria doesn't know how to. Also, it's a level 8 for it, apparently. Can we move on Moscow? Because that would be nice. Okay, move our troops down. Because that's where they're coming. Where they are coming. Do you have forced march? No. Strange. And we can begin the siege of Moscow. Good. You will arrive there on the 29th, we'll, we will arrive there much later. However, we will assign this. I believe that's our king. Stack wipe, good. And let us reverse the tides. Um, lose stability. We don't really care that much. We'll send one army back up to reinforce the siege of Moscow because that's where they are going to attack next. Yeah. Force March costs us a little bit, but we don't care. We do have 22k. Oh, that's amazing. April 1st. I think we got attrition barely. Get our Commandant back up.
Fortress of Bohemia is over. Tell me that's not suffering 5% nutrition. Austria said zero manpower. Wow. But so is Russia. Yeah, I think that's their entire army. Even Austria has double that size. They're going in to attack Moscow. Well, we have 40 stack ready to march. Forced march towards Moscow. We're in force. We do outnumber them. We rolled a zero. Oh, those dice rolls. behind the manpower. Let's build two stacks. Another region separatists. Then again, we were fighting the entirety of the Russian army. So you have to give me some slack. Gain that Republican tradition. Spread your armies out in order to minimize attrition. Russians are going to attack there, but I don't think they have enough troops to do any ser anything serious. Now yeah, we are going to stack wipe that army. Let's let those recover. Power projection and Republican tradition is the same. Interesting. Ah, they're going to. They are going to attack up there. Ooh, stack wipe. Okay, we stack wipe that though. And yeah, we'll get out before the end of the month. Just move in there. That's true. Hold out for five days. There we go. What is it with Russian steel? I entered something so ridiculous. By fire. That's a problem. So what's our army tradition? What is our 59? Even better. We will send these troops back on the front lines. Most of them are fully reinforced at this point. Why do I have two 
Army's just sitting there. Okay. My mistake. Go to a fairly sizable revolt. It's under 45 stack. Russia, will you accept a hundred percent? I believe they will. Okay. We can demand near full annexation. Whoa, that's too much. Overextension though. Way, way too much. Don't think anyone has ever survived 300% overextension. Military leader has died, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, so let's just take 4,000 ducats. Or reps. And then we start taking land. Let's see, who can they release? Well, they can return that. So those three provinces we can take and release. To first just an OPM. Okay, so we could Yeah, that's gonna be an ugly vassal, but So whatever over ex yeah, we'll just take that. Okay. That is going to be our peace deal. More prestige. We definitely need it. Let's stop using our king and actually roll a general. Yeah. One star general against no star. Does that guy even have a general? No. Oh wow.
Okay. National unrest minus two. I think we need to take over Moscow for them to accept our peace. Did they defeat the Austrians as well? That's sad. And we actually have to send a force. And we actually have to send an army. Okay, Moscow's down. Oh, they still won't accept. Interesting. It's because they have all these free forts. And call for peace. That was unfortunate. Negative 20. How high can I get your war exhaustion before you accept that you are doomed. Okay, they will accept now. And that looks great. I think by the end of the game we can completely eliminate Russia. Okay, let us release that nation first. It was not Tivert. We could release that. I uh, wish this was alphabetical. It's Kiev, I believe. Oh no, Polo. Polo Tusk. Polotoks. I cannot pronounce it. Polotoks, where are you? Where art thou? Um. Yeah, we hold a lot of cores of other people. Okay. Can we core everything at the same time? Yes, but it's still over a hundred of extension. Okay. Okay, let's just give them all the provinces. Okay. Was our overextension now? Let a day pass. 155. I think we don't care now. Minor inconvenience. Okay, forts. I really need to put the fort map mode in the hopper.
Maybe with supply? Oh, it is there. Supply. At least it is now. You control Moscow? That's terrible, terrible development. 32? Wow. They should be ashamed of themselves. All these free forts. Which land is that uncolonized? There we go. And a bunch of provinces are going to want to rebel and stuff like that, but we won't care. After every war, the states get so mad. Just annoying at this point. Oh, yeah, we need to get some provinces to no guy to make this. Well, do we really care about distant overseas at this point? I don't think we do. So let's just annex no guy. For the lulz. Anyways, back to giving every single province to the burgers. That's what I dis dislike about being a republic. The burgers demand so much. Get so greedy. I think the amount of land that they demand is greater than the amount of land that we got. No, it's just clergy. Okay. There. The clergy are loyal. Finally. We actually have preferences to convert, which is weird. Oh, those are Chinese. Danes want to rebel. Scane. Truce with Norway has end. What? Norway is alive? Oh. Okay, we're first, we are first in everything, so that is good. We 
They have Russian separatists that are obviously going to fire. A few hundred points will be generated. And now we have really, really, really good infantry. Oppression? What are they talking about? Don't oppress anyone. We only give them candy and death. Do they call that oppression? Because otherwise, they can just. Looming disaster. Okay, I think we got a bit cocky. These cores are gonna finish. April of next year. Whoa. Oh, but our quality is so much better. Yeah. Ten morale. Yep. And Norwegians. What a joke. Okay. Other than the fact that our entire empire is in revolt, I think we're doing well. Wow, that's a lot of revolts. Note to self, don't go that that high into overextension ever again. These revolts alone are going to cost me a hundred thousand manpower. Oh, 
Well, the nightmare is almost over. Cult of Reason. What is our... No, I don't need more revolts, I'm sorry. Although I would love to ruin my country more, I don't need more revolts. God, why are there so many revolts? It just went to 170% overextension. Gosh. They know they're not gonna get anywhere. they should know because we are revolutionary Byzantium like they think they can compete with revolutionary Byzantium if they do they are wrong and horridly so Just send those eighty K down to Africa. Send this eighty K to Siberia. I win every single battle against these, and they still think, oh, we can rebel, nothing bad's gonna happen. Oops. Yes, Austria, help. Yep. Help me. 
Save my poor soul. Aren't there supposed to be troops going to Asia? All these revolts are going down. Hey, can you on the way kill that? Yeah, just please. That'll show off our power. Yeah, the revolts are dying. Dying badly that at that. Has any revolt even gotten close? Some have because of the time it takes to move. Scott. And Syria, I believe you can siege down your own fort. We raise stability by one, our disaster will stop. Hey, color cheat. Yeah, give me some admin. Support you, but need that admin. Okay, boost. a rogue army there that I need to eliminate. Oh gosh. Good golly. I hate overextension. So hate it. Okay. I had begun to think it wasn't that bad, but After they throw twice your army size around like it's ragdolls. Okay, that was a easy stack wipe. begin to unseage these provinces. And that's what they deserve. Death. 
Okay, move our armies there. And yes, I believe I am over the time. My full 10 minutes. Let's, let us take revenge on these fools. Okay. Thanks for watching me go over 100 over extension, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Now that's a good general. Make us proud. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.